do it all the time. Keep your guards up, who wait in line. by the grace of God, I made it to Ghana safely. Bear with me, I got a new camera and didn't realize I was recording in slow-mo, so yeah, there's that. But hi guys, welcome back to another travel vlog. If you're new here, my name's Tiffany, what's going on? And if you're not new, what's poppin' family? Y'all, it was scorching in Ghana. <laughs> the fact that I had to bust out my fan less than 30 minutes after landing is crazy. But I made it safely, I, I tried to vlog as much as possible and got some work done on the flight, but most importantly, I slept for half of it. I was so hot, I couldn't even think of anything besides the Google and Bill fruit that my mom and brother had for me on the other side of the building. I wanted an omelet, but apparently that was doing them both, so I'm grateful for what I got. But yeah, y'all, I was just too hot. Like, look at the sweat beaming off my face. I was just hot hungry and ready to see my family but oh my gosh you guys i'm so excited i cannot believe we're in god you see money all around me i look like i'm the man yeah but i was down and out like last week tell me where have you been look who are we <laughs> i know here I am trying to see how I can put you guys. Let's see. Hi guys. So we made it safely to my mom's house. Um, we've just been like catching up, and I had like a little breakfast because I kept asking for cocoa and puff puffs, so they brought it. So we just caught up, and like, you know. It's been a minute since I've seen everyone, so now I'm gonna go get ready really quickly. Um, I have a dress being made for my cousin's wedding on a Saturday. Her engagement party, her engagement, is on a Thursday. I already have a dress for that, but I have a dress being made for the wedding on Saturday. So I'm gonna go get my measurements taken, and then we're gonna see my grandma, and then hopefully I can come back and take a nap, because I'm tired. <laughs> and then edit for a little bit and then see where the day goes. I don't really know, I'm probably just catching up with family and surprising everyone, cause I'm here. <laughs> this fan is literally gonna be my best friend this entire trip, cause it's so, it's so hot, it's so hot, it's so hot. Fun fact, there is no electricity or water in my mom's neighborhood and a couple cities down so we're really in ghana <laughs> i'm trying not to have a mental breakdown because i want to shower so badly um let me just put my makeup on and then i will check in with you guys later i don't really know what we're going to be doing today other than catching up with family so yeah i really hope my grandma does not have a heart attack because i'm kind of scared that the surprise is gonna be a lot for her <laughs> but yes okay oh I gotta show you guys my outfit hold on I got the stuff from H&M I got these pants surprisingly from Ross okay my friend Keisha's daughter turned two so I went to Ross to like get her baby clothes and stuff and well, I guess toddler clothes and I stumbled upon these pants and I was like they're coming home with me and then I wore my Air Forces with them which I don't have. They're outside. <laughs> but I wore my Air Forces with a silver check on them. But but yes, this is the outfit that I wore onto the plane. I had this shirt kind of thrown over it to keep me warm. And then I had like a little scarf to also keep me warm on the plane. And yeah, but I'm gonna get dressed. Wow. This is crazy. 
literally sweating. I don't know why I'm gonna put makeup on right now because I'm literally gonna be sweating everything off, but alas, I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. You want to be in it. Just I don't want to be in it. I don't want to be on Facebook and those places. <laughs> You're on Facebook already. I'm sweating my makeup already. Hello, sir. I was standing back. My hair producer said this. It's a calmer market than I thought. Calmer market, yeah. What about prices, sir? Only the neighborhood people come in. Yeah. Sir, I'm busy, but maybe I'm busy. Basically, right? No, 36. It's 36? I thought it was 39. My hips. <laughs> 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 By the time we get to that serious place, I'm gonna have no makeup on. You said my makeup looks nice when we were in the house. It doesn't look nice now. How long is it? It was my wife. I said it was four inches. It's not even too classy. It was at least 65 inches. Um, so, um, um, he <laughs> you know, <laughs> calls you <laughs> 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 creasing my shoes. Did you know? But you say the chin. I think say you all round, but on time all round. The woman. So he goes with us. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Oops. It's gonna be so pretty. Yeah, yours is pretty too. Ooh, it's like 3D. Yours is like 3D. Tiffany's look better though. I'm not gonna lie. No, your price one is out. Her size is cute. Her green is nicer. Yeah, it's a nicer green. But my style will go with that. Yeah, that one. We love an honest opinion. Yep. Exactly. Okay. So I'm here. Of course, my camera went back on slow mo, but we are at Papaya. Like, are you freaking kidding me, you guys? I have not had Papaya in so long. Like, it's literally been forever. There's one in New York, the Bronx specifically, but of course, the one I got hits way more. I was literally salivating for that fried rice and chicken. It was insane. I wanted to show y'all my outfit, but I had to order and the coffee amounts of food we got was crazy, but okay, here we go. My top and pants are from H&M. My shoes are the Nike Air Forces with a cute little silver check. My bag I got from Walmart in Denver. I like really needed a purse to hold my camera while I was vlogging on a trip out there. So I stumbled into Walmart and got her. She's super cute. And yeah, that's about it. All right, you guys, so we made it to my grandma's house to surprise her. She was currently taking a nap, and I was genuinely so nervous that she was going to have a heart attack. Like, oh my gosh. You know, like, I was literally so nervous because she kept asking my mom, like, the whole month, like, is Tiffany coming? Is Tiffany not coming? Is Tiffany coming? So I did not know how she was going to react by seeing me, but I was genuinely like, so excited. We get, ran into my cousin first, and he was, like, freaking out. We were like, simmer down because, again, it's a surprise. So here we are walking over to my grandma's room, and honestly, you guys, it was the most heartwarming and amazing woman like like this is the woman that raised me i love her so much so i just had the best time catching up with her so we just had dinner together and caught up good morning guys it is the next day it's in the morning 
sitting on the patio waiting for my mom. We had breakfast. Um, I'm so jet lagged that I've like have not been vlogging, but we had breakfast. And then now we're going to get me internet and a phone and like a SIM card. And then we're going to the market so that she can, she has a store so that she can like re-up on her stuff. And then we're going to, I dropped my camera. We should probably start with that. When I surprised my grandma last night, I accidentally dropped my camera off of, um, well, it slid off of the end table onto the floor. So hopefully we can get that fixed. If not, I'll just buy a new lens, which sucks, but it's okay. So we're gonna, after the market, we're gonna go to the camera people to see if they can fix it. Um, we've been in communication with them since last night, so hopefully they can fix it. But thankfully I have my phone so we can keep vlogging, it's totally fine. And then I'm gonna be doing weekly vlogs so I can upload, delete, and all that fun stuff. But anyway, yeah. So I am literally trying to sweat, where's my fan? Let me show you guys. So you see like the lens is a little off center. So hopefully they can fix it. Fingers crossed. If not, we'll just get a new lens. But yes, I'm just waiting for my mom. And then we're gonna head out of here. After we get my camera, or after we drop my camera off or get my camera fixed, hopefully we'll have enough time to get our lashes done. It's Tuesday and the wedding's on Saturday. Nope, the wedding's on Thursday. Or at least the engagement party is on Thursday. So yeah, after the lashes, I don't think we'll have time to get our nails done. So we'll probably get our nails done tomorrow. And then I have a couple more errands to run tomorrow, but I really just wanna stay home and sleep because I'm exhausted, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna cool down and then I'll check in with you guys when we get to our first destination. Everybody sweating, no about us. But you only know what I told you. determine if it was gas pain or if it's cramps so my mom and the pharmacist or the lady that works at the pharmacy store got me this it's called um mega side i guess it's like this gas lozenge that i just suck on so hopefully that does something for us um the bank that we pulled up to the atm was broken or not in service Jesus. i honestly don't really know what my mom's doing but yeah i think she dropped out the glass I'm literally gonna roast in this car, but my mom is currently, so she owns like an optical practice or like a lens crafter. So we're at the lab now so that she can drop off some frames for her clients to get the glasses made. So we're currently here. I'm not gonna go inside because I'm in so much pain. So I'm gonna treat this <laughs> and then go later, but yeah. <sighs> Hopefully that when I check in with you guys, I feel better because I am dying. Bad bitches, 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 like bad bitches, bad bitches, bad bitches, bad bitches, bad bitches, bad bitches. So we made it to the bank. <laughs> we are in Osu, which is like art district. They have a lot of art here, a lot of like hand carved stuff, a lot of like handmade clothing. So yeah, I didn't know we were gonna come to the Osu side, but this is where my mom found the closest bank. So she ran in there. I gave her 300 US dollars, which is equivalent to about 3,600 Ghana cities. So. Hopefully, I think that should, I mean, not hopefully that should be enough. That definitely should be enough for this week and like next week. But yeah, um, it's one US dollar is 12 Ghana cities. So that's how the conversion works. But 
Yes, so she's gonna get me some cash. Oh, she's getting me cash. That was quick. Thank you. I just can't believe. Wow. Because under bridges, boys. I act like I don't care. That's cause I don't care. When he come in, nigga can't lose it. Oh, she to make love. I'm trying. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. It is very early the next day. It is six in the morning. I was dying, but. We headed over to grab my Ghana card so that I'm officially official. I have my Ghana passport and now I have my Ghana card. Of course, I had to get breakfast of champ. Not pictured as a sugar bread that went alongside with that. My brother came and picked me up afterward and we got my camera fix. And then we headed over to the Accra Mall. I have an external like adapter for my computer to read my camera, but for some reason it was not reading the SD card. So I needed to get an SD card. SD card reader. We stumbled upon this super cute store. Like this dress was adorable. They had the best fabric for like King Tay and whatnot. Um, you really just go by the fabric, but you can also purchase obviously clothes that are already made. And then we kept walking through the mall. I love all my hoes, but I like money. Can we take a second? We've got Chanel, but not Chanel. Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. Valentino, but not Valentino. Went to the store called Starlight and got my SD card reader. It was very small and compactable. And then my brother moseyed over to the Apple store. All I had to eat that morning was the egg, the malta, and the bread. I went into Barcelos and I tried a chicken shawarma for the first time, which is 10 out of 10. And then of course, you know, I needed something sweet. So we stumbled upon this chocolate store and it was aesthetically beautiful. Like this fondue fountain, 10 out of 10. The menu was great as well. They had like a lot of things on there. I was very overwhelmed, but I ended up going with the brownie pizza because I was craving some chocolate. That's cause I don't care. Yeah, that's about it for today, you guys. It was a very successful day. I'm so glad my camera's fixed because it's time for the wedding. Let's get dressed. I see you eating chicken, I see you smoking weed, I see you drinking and making, actually, you're barely making music. I'm gonna need you to drop more songs because Dead Man Walking was not satisfied, I was not satisfied with it because I had already heard it before. And I'm gonna need you to drop a whole album this new year, 2021. I expect more from you. This is ridiculous. It is very ridiculous. So, you. <laughs>
how we'd like to welcome you to their residence. Um, we want you to know that you are in the house of the dentist. Reverend Joseph Usebo, now our umpire, and to do what you ask in this Hallelujah. Shall we please bow down our eyes?
Cut the house and sing for you know, the of the week. Like Corona. Talk to the bartender and tell them that shit.
I know it looks very like Italian. Yeah. I feel like a lot of Italian homes have like the little vineyards growing on them. Yeah, I think you should go to the to see My slippers for sure. As soon as we hit there, I was like, yeah, this is not gonna work I'll out. Take yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can walk to the car and then I'll get the fan. I'm really glad you guys. The wedding was so much fun. I was down for the count the next day, but of course I had to go get my dress fitted. So here we are doing the final fitting and final touches on it. Honestly, there wasn't really much to do on the dress. We just needed to take the bust in a little bit more and make the length shorter. But besides that, it was so cute. Like, look how the vision came to life. After the seamstress, I went to go get my lashes and a pedicure at Caroline's Impressions. Watch my TikTok if you want to see more. And it's the day of the wedding. This mask was literally stunning. I was so ready for all of the beauty that this day was also going to bring, but of course we have to get dressed. 
pussy Maybe it's all the above Maybe I don't need a hug Maybe I'm just fucked up Sick. I said a thought gon' be a thought So I'm like, fuck these bitches My son got a mother and I love her So it's different I'm here for one night So baby girl, what you sipping? I'm on some bullshit by 94, Scotty Pippin I say the last dancer when I'm drunk And when I'm hitting Your boyfriend like that boy What's that boy getting like? Me out, come on to me now It's me and my niggas We lit and we wild Maybe it's the love, the drugs, the weed, the pussy Maybe it's all the love Maybe I don't need a hug Maybe I'm just fucked up Maybe it's the love, the drugs, the weed, the pussy Maybe it's all the love Maybe I don't need a hug Maybe I'm just fucked up I wanna have more patience, but you're so territorial I can't even kick it cause you're watching my story though I got what you seen and I got something you don't need to know I done gave more dick than a little I know I'm the reason that you're freaking out You wish you could be the reason that I settled down You done gave me all I wanted but I still got reasons I should fuck around Maybe it's the love, the drugs, the weed, the pussy Maybe it's all the love Maybe I don't need a hug Maybe I'm just fucked up Hi guys, we made it to the venue, as you can probably tell. There's no AC, so I hope my fan does not die. Oh, my brother and I look so cute. We're matching. Same green and everything. The elders are sitting over there, and we're sitting back here per usual, so hopefully I don't sweat on my makeup off, but I feel like it's happening already. No, literally, like, what? <gasps> oh, Jesus, being friends. Maybe I should take pictures before I sweat everything off. Yeah. Eyes. The ring has landed 
on beautiful Dr. Ifia Puma Ajinsen's finger to your handsome groom. I did well. I did well. I get the goodness of this mighty God. And it is my prayer that before we leave this place this afternoon, somebody is going to embrace a miracle. A single person is going to locate a husband or a wife in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Dearly beloved, we have come to a very important part of the marriage ceremony. We don't know what you want to do after that, but you have all the right and the permission and my blessing to start the show here on this altar. Let the show down start here right now.
Join me, let's do this together. It's here your hands now. We cut the wedding cake of Doctor and Doctor Aponsa. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Ghost. The, the party has just begun. Don't be in a rush to go home. Our Christmas has started. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Your spouse, give me a bigger wave. And then now tell your partner, it's time for us to dance on the dance floor. This one is for only those who are married. If you have a boyfriend, all married couple, please make your way to the dance floor. We want to do something special for the beautiful couple.
as DJ Fool. Let's go. Shout to your biggest amen for heaven to respond. You can shout. You will shout. 
Oh, I really cannot believe that my baby cousin is married. Like, this is insane. But I'm so grateful that I was here to witness it. I hope you guys like this week's video. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.